Hello folks, welcome. We're gonna do a beginner tune called Shortening Bread. Probably you've heard of it. And we're gonna play the whole tune and then we're gonna break it down part by part for you. And at the end, I'll give you a few little things to play around with, with the tune. All right, so here goes the whole thing. All right, a little ditty. You can sing it too. Maybe we'll sing it in this lesson. Um, we're gonna start with just playing the first quarter of the A part. And with more flow. All right, so um, it starts on open D and goes to A1, twice on A1. So that's a long, short, short. And I refer to this pattern, this rhythm, as hoedown. Long, short, short. Long, short, short. Okay, so that's the hoedown pattern. After that, we do another hoedown, but we're gonna go open A to one, one on A. So the whole first quarter, when you put it together again, is D. See how it's two hoedowns put together? That rhythm will change in the next quarter. But before we do that, we're gonna loop on this first quarter together, and it'll help you get it. Alright, cool. So I encourage you to loop more on your own if possible, and you can loop smaller or bigger parts too. Let's move on to the second quarter of the A part. And with more flow. So very similar. In fact, it's kind of the same as the first quarter but without the hoedown pattern, just all quarter notes. Long, 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 long. All right, so moving on, the third quarter is the same as the first. And the fourth quarter is a little bit different. All right, with a little more flow. If you've done the lessons with me for a little bit, you'll know that I refer to this little pattern as tucka, all right? It's like tucka, tucka, tucka. Short, 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 long, long. Now here's the fourth quarter, the A part again. All right, so these little rhythms that I teach you, you can do on scales. And then the great thing about them is that they come up in tunes all the time. And so part of my job, I think, is to point that out so that you see why you do scales. They're actually very useful. So you, knowing this rhythm, tucka, you can do it on a scale. And then when you encounter it in a tune like this, you're much more prepared to hear it, okay? So, um, all right, so what I'm gonna do now is play the entire A part, all right? And if anything is unclear, uh, about what we've done, I recommend you pause the video and practice right now. Okay, here we go, whole A part. All right, that was fun. Um, let's just pause and if you're a person who likes singing, it's a great technique for remembering tunes, for getting better at them and for learning them. So, um, and especially with things that are songs. So this, this one has a song with words, which is, Mama's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Mama's little baby loves shortening bread. All right, 
just kind of like a kid's song. There's more lyrics, but um, I encourage you to actually sing it. And you can do something where you sing a line and then you play it. And it will make you a much better musician if you do this. So I will demonstrate this. Mama's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Mama's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Some ideas, you can even do one line. Mama's little baby loves. All right, and so on. All right, you can, and if that's super easy for you and you like doing it, do them at the same time. Mama's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Mama's shortening bread. All right, cool. Let's move on to the B part of this tune. We're going to start with the first quarter. All right, and with more flow. All right, so you may have noticed it kind of sounds similar to the first chord of the A part, but it's a little different. So some similarities, it, they both have the hoedown pattern, the long, short, short, long, short, short. And they both, um, the only main difference is the B part has an A3 that it starts on, and the A part has an open D that it starts on. So the B part starts on A3, and that's it. That's the only difference. And in fact, A3 and open D are the same note. They're both D notes. A3 is just a higher octave of it. Right? Okay. And then we have a similar thing happening in the second quarter of the B part. All right. So, um, now the third quarter is the same as the first quarter of the B part. All right, so the fourth quarter of the B part is the same exactly as the fourth quarter of the A part. So voila, you got, do you like my French, voila? Um, you have the entire B part now. If anything you don't get, just rewind a little bit and listen to those parts again. I'm now going to slowly play the entire B part for you. folks so just a note on this particular version um, I've said this before but every once in a while I need to say it again that there are thousands of ways to play this one song and any one fiddle tune so this way that I'm showing you is not some kind of great authoritative way of doing it it's pretty much the basic version of the tune you'll find little little differences um, amongst other players and fiddlers okay so as promised I just want to give some ideas for what, it's a simple tune, but simple is good, because you can work with it and do lots of creative things with it. So if, even if you're an absolute beginner, one thing you can do right off the bat is transpose it. So start the tune on open G. And it's the exact same fingering. It's now in the key of G. Now you can impress your friends and say, oh, I know shortening bread in the key of D and the key of G. Okay, now we'll do it in the key of A. Start out on open A. All right, so you've just taken one tune and made three tunes to add to your uh, repertoire. So you can go play a party and play it in different keys. Um, if you're a more advanced player, you can try starting it in a totally weird scale, like E flat. All right, I'm not going to really get into that yet. This is supposed to be a beginner lesson, but in case some more intermediate or advanced players are listening, I wanted to just throw that your way. The last thing I'll give for this tune, if you're intermediate to advanced, 
is to add um, an offbeat feel to the hoedown rhythms. So something like... All right, so basically um, you're accenting the two and the four. It's hard. And if you want to practice that and learn it, you don't start with a tune, you start with just open, open string. So you take hoe down, you accent the first short note. Long, short, short, long, short. It takes a very long time to get the feel right, but if you just do it every day, it adds so much to all these tunes, all right? Then the next step, if you can do it on an open string, you do it on a scale. And then you try it on a tune like Short Membre. All right. So I think that's it for this. Glad you made it to the end of the lesson. Pat yourself on the back for your persistence. See you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent.